Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how I made my own Arduino. It's the version 1 of the board. There will be future updates since we have the SMD IC version of the 80 Mega 328 IC which I use here. This Arduino or aka Senadrino, I have named it like that, can be programmed using the FTDI programmer for now and will work as same as the original Arduino. I have purchased the board from the jlcpcb.com. So without further ado, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Thomson Electronics. They are the best dealers in commercial supplies of electronic components in India with high quality products and a wide variety of category to choose from. <music> First we will order the PCBs, for that go to jlcpcb.com and add the Gerber file. We can see the PCB in the Gerber view. They provide some extra customizations to the PCB. And we will get 5 PCBs at the rate of $2. This is the PCB from jlcpcb. I got it within 7 days. The board looks very good and promising. The silk screen is perfect as you can see. Then I gathered all the components for the board. The IC, resistor, crystal, the 7805 voltage regulator, 22 picofarad capacitors, male headers. Then I placed all the components one by one to the board. Use an IC base for soldering. If you have to replace the IC, it would be better method. Now I have completed placing all the components to the PCB. After that, I solder all the components at the point. And use a minimum amount of solder for the job. Do not overheat the pad. It will ruin the copper completely from the board. So be careful. Then I attach the 9 volt battery to the board. And also, I have uploaded the blink sketch to the Arduino. We can program the board by using the FTDI programmer. I have added the pins to the board with namings. The FTDI programmer can easily be connected to the Arduino or aka Sanadrino. Or there would be another method, you can simply program the Arduino you know and switch the ICs between Sandrino and Arduino you know. For programming via FTDA programmer, simply hook jumper wires to the module and insert to the USB port of the system. If you use the Arduino you know, you can simply program by using the Arduino port to program the chip and then you can replace the IC of the Arduino you know to Sanadrino. But I would prefer the first method since when you replace the IC there will be chances that you can probably break the IC legs. So be conscious on that and make sure to use a 16 MHz crystal along with 22 picofarad capacitor. This board will work as same as the commercial Arduino and only cost around 4 to 5 dollars. So it's a better deal. While programming, there would be chances to get an error like SK500 gets sync. It's because our 80 Mega 328 does not have a bootloader. If you have doubts or queries on that, do let me know in the comments. I would be happy to help you. And if you need me to do a video on how to upload bootloader to the Arduino, so do let me know. Since now, you can upload sketches via the FTDI programmer with a bootloaded IC to the Senadrino. Right here, I have used the through hole components for the Arduino. In the near future, I was planning to make everything in the SMD. The SMD IC, capacitors, everything would be in SMD. So, we would reduce the size of the Arduino and make a footprint of the Arduino which was going to make. I hope you like the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.